And just open this and uh, let's go. Nice. How's it going, champs? Welcome back to another video. It's me and Skills 2v2s doing what we do best, playing Rocket League. Hell yeah, let's do this. In this game, dude, we have some great passes. And I'm pretty excited to show it to you guys. What a save from Skills coming up straight off the bat. Let's go. Let's challenge these balls. Let's get them in the net. Yeah. Let's get it on. Alright, it's a good clear forward for skills. We're gonna get it in our control and just, you know, doing, doing, our, doing our thing. Playing our own game, not letting them do their own. Could have had that on target, following it up, you know, you know, just showing them a little bit of our might. But it didn't really work, so we had to come back and clear that ball forward up to skills. That's a very good play right there. It's always important to follow up those clears. Make clears also a pass. I preach this to my guys like every single day. You want to make those clears to be a pass at the same time. They can be really a deadly force. And that pass to skills. He launches it forward and he can't save it. He knocks it in instead. Just look at this flick right here. And then skills with the beautiful follow-up that flick pat myself on the back because that was beautiful we're gonna go for a fake right here let's get ourselves another goal right here good pass I can follow up this is gonna be a goal Boop. easy nice pass skills pops it up and then easy follow-up right there put that in the bottom left corner no chance of the defense they should have read that a lot sooner All right, yeah. Looking at this gameplay, I believe our opponents are in the lower diamond level. So, doing those passes, getting those down is really important at, you know, getting up to the higher levels. You want to just be able to hit your shots. Super important. I know a lot of people in the diamond level make little mistakes that cost them games, so. That's kind of the, the difference between higher diamond and lower diamond. Just being able to consistently hit your shots. Also positioning as well is always really important. But you kind of get that hang of that by watching gameplays and just, you know, playing the game. It's not something that can be taught very easily. That right there. I don't know what we're doing right now. We're just, we're in the lead. We know we're going to win this game. We're just kind of messing around. Just trying to trying to set up another goal. I'm just going to wait here until skills can, you know, do something with it. We're just kind of popping it back and forth. I try and lob that over. Doesn't really do anything. You know, just having a little bit of fun. Seeing if they can make any more mistakes. Mm, skills lobs it up pretty well, but they intercepted this time. Good job on their part. Still can't really set anything up. What a shot from skills, but he can't finish it. That was that was so close. And then the backflip goal. Just capitalizing on every single mistake. He almost taps that over him. The backflip just misses, and which the other team also misses, and you just backflip it in, no problem. Oh yeah, it's 3-0. The other team really needs to step it up a little bit if they want to pull back. They gotta challenge those balls a little bit sooner. That was the easiest hit of my life. And that skills is gonna go up for, for a little aerial, just put that in the top corner, and that would be easy, easy peasy. We just got in their heads, finished them off, and they forfeited. So that was a pretty good game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to follow me on 
Twitch, where I stream pretty much every single day. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Catch you later.